Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. In the last episode, we ran around and collected fruit and, uh, well, ate fruit and collected lizard tails. Now, I did do a little bit of research off camera, and turns out, would you adamant eat it? Uh, in the PlayStation 4 version, uh, i.e. this one, you don't actually need to find all of the lizard fruits. Lizard fruits? Yes, let's go with lizard fruits. Uh, for any trophies or any reason. In fact, you can build your health up just by killing the Colossus. Uh, or the Colossi, I should say. Um, yes. So, we're not actually going to go around and find all of the uh, lizards and fruit trees. Uh, there's 123 pieces of fruit to find. Um, and there's also 77 lizards. So... Given the fact that, in the grand scheme of things, they actually give you nothing, uh, apart from tiny little boosts to your bars, uh, which you get naturally anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't really see the point. Um, and it also does appear that a second playthrough of this game yields uh, quite a bit more, which is interesting. However, we do need, for a trophy, to find all of the shrines. So we are still going to do that. Still going to find all the shrines. Um, and if we do see trees and whatnot, we are going to pick up um, fruit. And same with the lizards. We are going to kill the lizards as and when we come across them. But we're not going to go out of our way for it. Now, the coins as well. Um, there are 76 of those. And again, nobody... Well, from the very brief bit of research that I've done, which is very brief, um, apparently uh, nobody seems to know what they do, um, i.e. they don't really do anything, so hum, maybe we shall get them, maybe we won't, but it does appear that once you've completed this game once, you get to do New Game Plus, and you get to carry on with your stamina and all of that good stuff, aha. Uh, all of your stamina and all of your health increases carry over. So they actually reckon the best way to max out your health and stamina is just to replay the game over and over again. Uh, which apparently doesn't actually take that long. So, yeah. Not really sure, guys. I don't know. We we'll see what, what happens. We're just going to enjoy the game, to be honest. Right. Let's get this fruit whilst we're here. Oop. There we go. Yeah, there can also be up to three lizards, apparently, at each, um, each shrine. Now, interestingly, what I can find out, on the original version of this game, um, on the PlayStation 2, I didn't even realise they remade this for the PlayStation 3, to be honest. But on the original version, apparently it took a lot more lizards and a lot more fruit to actually max you out. Which has been scaled back, uh, not massively, but a little bit, apparently, on the PlayStation 4 version, so. So, that's okay by me. I, I don't really mind. Also, the tricks that you can do on the horse, um, are not what I was thinking they were. Um, and there is actually a guide going through them all. So, I may do that at some point. Because I do want to get as many trophies as I possibly can. Because trophies, yo. Do we have fruit here? Is there any delicious, delicious tree fruit? There is also a secret that we can get as well, apparently. Which we will... Which we can't get yet. But hopefully we will in time. We need to have max stamina first. Oh, we can swim! Oh, how about that? I wonder if there's a fish. There is fish. Now, if you remember, the, it said something about... Um, riding a fish? Or at least I read something about riding a fish. Let's try and find one. And hold on. They're deep, though. Oh, we can... Can we dive? Oh. Yes. Yes, we can. Alright. So how far underneath water can we go? 
And how do we ride a fish? Because that's actually... Oh. Okay, I'm not actually sure. Ah, hello. I guess they come to the surface. Hello, my friend. Can I hit... There we go. Oh, <laughs> no freaking way. Well, you saw it here first, folks. Uh, probably not, actually, let, let, let's be honest. So do we die, then, if our stamina runs out? But we are now riding a fish. And we're having a wonderful time, just for the halibut. All right, there we go. Um, I guess no trophy, unless, unless we have to do that for a certain amount of time. Which is certainly possible. So where is this pond? Okay, so the pond is there, so... We can always come back here. It's not an issue. I will need to do some further research on that. It would seem. I'm actually going to call this video just for the hell of it, aren't I? I really am. Oh. Okay, hopefully hopefully some uh, inspiration will hit me. And, and, and I won't. But uh, I can see myself naming this video just for the halibut, and uh, I apologise in advance. Um, although not really. It's a whole sorry, not sorry kind of situation going on here. Now, where's our lazy horse? There he is. You lazy bloody... I bet he's off eating grass somewhere, weren't you? Come on. Right. Let's go. So that little trick's cool. If you push triangle and down at exactly the same time, um, you can launch into maximum speed straight off the bat, which actually is really cool. I like that. Beautiful piece of animation as well. Not that I'm surprised. You know, this game is absolutely stellar with its animation and whatnot, so... I'm not surprised that looks fucking cool. And feels good as well, you know? So what else can we do? I'm not really sure what other tricks and things we have up our sleeves. I will look them all up. Yeah. Right. So what's up here? You know, this game is loads of fun just to explore. It's just a shame that there isn't anything to explore. There's nothing to visit, there's nothing to see. I mean, there is, there's lots to see, but... You know what I mean. There's no point to the exploration. Well, this place looks serious. What's back this way? Come on, Argo. Let's go, my friend. Let's ride. Um, you didn't, you didn't hear me. I said, let's ride. There we go. Full speed. All systems, full power. There we are, that's what I'm talking about. Don't spare the horses. Ooh. Kind of getting used to the camera a little bit as well. And uh, it's... Yeah, I wouldn't say it's growing on me, but... I don't think it's quite as bad as I originally thought. It's very artistic, as you'd imagine, I suppose. This is a very artistic game. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I just wish there was, like, um, enemies and stuff down here. Like, I wish there was reasons to actually visit these places, yeah. apart from the, the tales. I actually think the fact that there's no music, or at least very little music, uh, is quite refreshing. It's very, very nice. It's all about the ambience. Yeah. Come on, Argo. Argo. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Let's get you moving, my son. Forwards. Oh, 
Now, it looks like there's a shrine down here, which is cool. Which means more lizard tails, and there's some more fruit as well. Now, all the fruit and lizard tails that we can get before the next Colossus, or Colossi. Colossi is plural. Yeah, plural. So, Colossus. Uh, obviously is nothing but a bonus, because it's all going to help at the end of the day. Boing. Ah, there you are, my friend. Uh, there can also be up to three lizards per shrine. Uh, however, they don't all spawn at once, which is a little pain in the testicles. So to get the, them to spawn, you actually have to exit the game. Um... And load the game in again, which is... And reload the game, I should say. So you have to save and exit and then reload, which is yeah, a questionable design choice, I suppose. Yeah, our health bars got to be almost doubled from, from when we started. Look at the architecture here. It's beautiful. Is it like Aztec or something? Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't say it's Aztec. Aha! There you are! Here, lizard. Lizard lips. You're gonna be my dinner, boy. I'm a hungry. I'm a hungry for your flesh. Ah, would you stop running around with that delicious lizard meat of yours? I mean, honestly, it's almost as if you don't want to be eaten. It's an honor, I guess, to be eaten by the wanderer. Now, don't take my word for it. That's just the law of the land. I wonder, can we cheat? There we go, we can actually reset, hide UI, target player, horse, ah, filter, oh that's a shame. I was hoping we could actually leave our body, that would have been quite cool, and then just go for a little wonder with the camera mode. Um, ah, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. He's just doing little loops. He's doing donuts. Hi, matey. I appreciate your enthusiasm, sir. Oh, actually, um, holding the bow drawn actually consumes stamina. Which is interesting. Yeah, I don't like the, the way the camera spacks out whenever you hit anything. It's quite jarring. Come on, my delicious friend. If you come out within the next ten minutes, I'm going to make a handbag out of you as well. No, a wallet. Yes. You'll be a coin purse. Now, there's an offer you can't refuse, my friend. You'll be immortalized. I mean, that's, that's better than just rotting. And being forgotten. Maybe a nice fancy pair of boots. Now the trouble with a pair of boots is a pair of boots will wear out. Depending on the quality of your hide, sir. Do you have a good quality hide? Because if you do... Look, Argo, can you stop moving around and scaring the bloody thing off? I mean, seriously. Fuck off over there. Have a piss. Have a drink. Chill out a minute, alright? We... Have real business. We are hunting lizards. Very poorly, I might add. Yes, I can see the whole lizard hunt actually getting quite irritating. I can see that. And I can't hear the little. There he is. Aha! Right. Oh, they make a little squeak, which is interesting. Now, hmm, if we shoot them off there... Really? Are we going to be able to get him? Come on, my friend. Right, are you dead? Would be my question. Yeah, I would say he's dead. Okay, cool. Now, 
how do we get that delicious lizard? There we go. Look how our patience has been rewarded. Yeah, they, they, they really don't give us much at all, do they? Much stamina, that is. Like, almost a useless amount of stamina. Almost. Not quite, but almost. Now, where's that delicious fruit? The fruit actually gives you uh, a fairly significant boost. But then, I mean, I don't know how aggressive the Colossus get, or the Colossus I get. Uh, I'm going to assume they get fairly aggressive, you know. Uh, there we go. So I don't know how useful the health's going to be. I mean, obviously it's going to be useful. I mean, it's just silly assuming that it wouldn't. But I think um, stamina might actually be more useful. In the long run. Uh, okay, so we've got that one locked in. Come on, Argo, my friend. We need to move. Is there like another trail through here? It doesn't look like it. Come on, buddy. Let's ride. Something is scary. Something is scaring about. But we're not going to worry about that too much. Now. That's the way we came. That just looks like a... A kind of round... Come on. There we go. That just looks like a round circular area. I think. No, 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 don't give me any of your shit horse, or you'll be going to the glue factory. You're already close to going to the glue factory. Okay. Yeah, apparently, um, also these golden coins that we can find, they uh, don't matter for achievements either, so. Or trophies, I should say. Which is curious. They've added all these collectibles in, but uh, from what I can understand, there's no reason for them. You really are pushing me, Argo. You're pushing me to the brink. I, I'm considering... Move your arse horse! You know, sometimes I think it's just easier to get off. There we go. Easier than fucking around with a horse. And then in theory, you can just call him. Um, Argo. Don't worry about it. I'll just have a vape and a, a coffee whilst I'm waiting. That's fine. Don't, don't, don't rush on my account, matey. You know, if there were replacements, Argo, you would have been fired. You're not quite a poner. You're not quite a poner, my friend. Ah, there's a lizard. Apparently you can eat normal lizard tails. Uh, so I read. But they give you a significantly less... Stamina boost. Um, and considering the normal lizards give you, like, basically nothing. I would say it's definitely not worth it. My god, this land is beautiful. It, it actually feels like um, an, an unfinished game, in a way. Uh, it definitely has a very unique feel to it. It feels unfinished in the fact that you have this huge beautiful environment um, but there's nothing here and there's no music there's no ambient sound and in regards to the soundtrack I don't mind that 
Yeah, we can't. Okay. Move your ass horse! My god! There we go. Good boy. Go. It. You have delayed. Delayed your inevitable trip to the glue factory. For now. For now. Oh, have we been to that shrine? Ah, oh, we're in a desert. Oh, badass. See, look at this. You, there's all these like different zones. All these cool and interesting zones, man. Just imagine fighting skeletons or something out here. Or maybe even um, sentient cacti. Yes. Yes, I don't believe a game's done that before. <laughs> Final Fantasy. Ooh, there we go. But that would be quite interesting. He's done. Boing. Alright, let's go have a little pray. Let's fill up on our god meter. There we go. Look at our health bar. Health bar. Man, we're showing some pretty swell gains right there. Okay, Argo, my friend. Where to next? You know, actually, guys, I don't think the map's going to be that big. And I actually think that works quite nicely for this game. Because for the aforementioned reason that there just is nothing here. Wow. You just can't deny that how how vast and insane these landscapes are. They must have really pushed the uh, PlayStation 2 to its limits. I mean, what did that thing have? 32, 32 megabytes of RAM? And bearing in mind not all of that was workable RAM, that would, that would have been video memory as well, and sound memory. So, yeah, my god, 32 megabytes. Now, obviously, it wouldn't have looked as crisp and uh, beautiful as this uh, rendition does. But at the same time, it, it was no slouch, you know? And I, uh, I have heard that the frame rate wasn't very stable on the PlayStation 2. Which, again, you know, I guess you can't really complain. But at the same time, I, you know, I'm very sensitive to my frame rate. I think if a game is advertising 60 frames a second or 30 frames a second, it should actually be 60 or 30 frames a second. You know, there's no point advertising a game and saying it's 30 frames a second where it actually runs at 10. Because, you know. Ah, there is fruit on this tree. So is this like some kind of forbidden fruit or something? Some kind of Jesus fruit? Mm -mm -mm. No, don't do that. And it still is bizarre to use the trigger to pick fruit up. It's not the end of the world, it just takes a little bit of getting used to. But it's a very strange uh, setup. Some more delicious, delicious. This looks like nut fruit. Uh, which is uh, not that delicious, actually. Giant cherries. Yeah, let's go with giant cherries. That's That gives a more pleasing image than <coughs> nut fruit. Oh, more. Yum, yum, yum. Give me some of that sweet, sweet nut. Nope. Nope. Abolish that thought from one's mind. I know you're out here alone, Mr. Wanderer. But you need to think pure thoughts. I would say your girlfriend's waiting for you on that slab back there, but uh, we don't actually know if that is his girlfriend. I mean, I, it's kind of safe to assume, I suppose. But it could also be his sister. Oh, yes, yes, even friend, I guess. Ooh, this is so cool. I imagine we're going to have like an epic battle here with some kind of colossus later on. And I, for one, welcome this thought. You know, this game does have a wonderful sense of isolation, it really does. Wonderful sense of isolation. Which I guess is kind of what they were going for. 
obviously. This lonely, desolate, desperate task. Impossible task. Uh, I guess you could say. It's a tale of a boy and his horse. Interesting that the shrines are actually not really that far and few between, are they? Which is kind of curious. Now, where is our walking pair of trousers? The walking wallet. Come on, bub. Time is money. Where are you, my friend? I have the munchies. I have the munchies for a big demon tail. Demon tail? I mean lizard tail, of course. Although liz uh, demon tail would also be uh, adequately tasty, I suppose. Big, juicy demon tail. Kind of imagine it'd be like a big old juicy steak. That reminds me, I was going to have steak the other day, and then I forgot about it. Aha. Uh -huh. Isn't it weird the thoughts are just come into your mind? Especially my mind, my mind's all over the place. I think a mile a minute. Right, I'm not seeing a lizard here. Do we have to pray to get the lizard to appear? Don't be sure we don't. At least I hope we don't. I mean, I guess he... Oh! Oh! He's moving! He's moving! He's foot mobile. Trouble is the bastard could be anywhere. Come on, you knob. Alright, maybe praying at the shrine will liven him up a little bit. There we go. Let's get full of Jesus. We can feel Jesus inside us right now. My friend actually used to work for a very religious person. He was a welder. My friend was a welder, not the religious person. And uh, apparently he used to hold um, like Sunday service or something in his welding bay. In my friend's welding bay. And uh, he used to come in on uh, on a Monday and he'd find like religious pamphlets and, and Bibles all over his welding bay. And he used to say every Monday morning he used to have to get in there, decontaminate the area and wash the god off everything. Which uh, used to amuse me to no end. Ah, certainly has a way of words. Um, how do we, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to have to scale this thing. Because wherever this lizard is, I think it's safe to say the bugger is not cooperating with me. He's not going to freely hand us his hide. Which... Ah, oh, there you are, you dick! God, you snaky bastard that isn't much like a snake at all. Where the blazing hell have you gone? Right, you bloody walking handbag. Come back. I need a serious dose of lizard meat. And I am not ending this video until I've found your ass. I'm taking a big old bite. As I say, life can be a shit sandwich at times. And we've all got to take a bite. And sometimes it can be an ice cream sandwich. And you keep that sucker to yourself. Ah, oh, this is painful. 
Oh my god, this is painful. Ah! Ah! No, 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 put that way. Put that way. Right. No! Oh no, you fucking dickbag! Yes, that feels good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Every one of those was worth it. Uh, can we actually, you know, make a, a valid attempt to have some lizard tail? There we go. Yeah, we are literally getting nothing from that. Right, well, there's another shrine found, I suppose. I'm guessing eventually, maybe, we can teleport to these? Question mark? I don't really know. I'm not really sure. Let's say before we end this video, let's... Yeah, before we end this video, let's jump on our faithful steed right here. I say faithful steed. You know, I should say the only steed we actually have. Come on, boy. Let's go. And see if there's anything else hidden around. I, mean, I don't know if we can scale any of this stuff. I'm going to say maybe. Nothing there. Oh, no, 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 no. There is a little underpass here. Ah. Pretty fucking nice. I like it. I like what they've done with the place. Admittedly, they haven't actually done anything with the place. They've uh, let the place fall into, into ruin. Which is not actually as great as it sounds. Ooh. All these massive temples and things. I mean, I'd love to know the lore to this game. That's one thing that I was hoping we was going to get. I was hoping we was going to get like a lot of lore. But I guess not. I guess that's what most of this game is. It's the mystery. Yeah, I guess we can't actually do anything with that. That whole area that we can't do anything with. Kind of lends... Yeah, it just... It feels like we're playing a demo. Anyway, guys, that's not to say I'm not enjoying this game. I'm enjoying this game a lot. Um, I'm not getting the masterpiece buzz that, uh, that a lot of people have given this game. I'm certainly not getting that masterpiece uh, feeling. I'm getting that feeling that it's a good game. It's really unique, really different, but hmm, I think there could be a little bit more, just a little bit more in in, in this world to actually do. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time.